back to another video. Thank you so much guys for coming back. My name is Cynthia. If you're coming across my video for the first time, you're highly welcome. And to my returning subscribers, I really appreciate you all. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to make this short dress. It's a beautiful drawstring dress. I'll be making use of two different fabrics. So I have two yards of fabric here. This is one yard and this is one yard. You'll be able to make this beautiful dress with two yards of fabric. My fabric is widely open. I will fold my fabric into two. I'll do the same thing for this side. This is folded into two and this one is folded into two also. So now the fabric you're going to be cutting out. You will measure from here, right from your back midpoint to where you want it to be. For this I'll be making use of 18 inches. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance. That is my 10 inches. The length is 44 inches. I'm making use of the full length of Ancraft fabric. And I have a 19 inches here. This is 19 inches. Before I start, I will measure one inch. This is the midpoint. I will measure one inch. I'm missing up the fabric. I will move on. I will explain this one inch to you guys. I will mark one inch all through. I will make a straight line, yes. So this is one inch. It's my measurement will start from here. This one inch is not included. So I have 17 inches here. I will add one inch for sewing allowance. That's 18 inches. I'll mark it 10 inches here. I will mark 1.5 inches for shoulder slope right on this upper part here. I will connect the shoulder slope like so. I will take 3.5 inches for the wideness of the neck. I will mark 1.5 inches for the back depth. The back depth is round neck and the front one is a V neckline. So I'm taking the measurement right from this line here. I'll go to the upper part here, mark half inch. I'll mark half inch for sewing allowance right on the upper part here. So I will take the the bust measurement. The bust measurement is 11 inches right from the shoulder. I'll mark 11 inches here. Right on this bust measurement, I will come inside by 1.5 inches. I will go down by 2 inches and then mark 1 inch like so and connect it. I will make a curve here. I will connect it and bring it to the lower part. Right from here, I will come inside by half inch and reconnect it like so. So right on this uh, armhole here, I will go inside by half inch or one inch, you reconnect it like so. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'll cut out the back neckline. I'm cutting it out. I will split the front and the back open. I will open up this side as well. So I will take one of these, match it up with one of this other one. I will match them up together. The 
this is the front. I will cut out the front neckline. The front neckline is V neckline. Remember, I cut out 1.5 inches already. So I will add 5.5 inches to be making it 7 inches. I take it like so. I'll take it like so. Mm. I will go ahead and cut it out. Pass. Yeah. This is the front, and I have the back here. This is the one inch I marked out earlier. I'll use one inch to join the front part here. I'll do the same thing for the back side. I'll use one inch to join them together. So this is the wrong side. After stitching it, I use the pressing iron to open up this place, iron it flat. So what we are going to do next, I will take a quarter of an inch, stitch it down, make a top stitch. I will stitch it from here all the way to the lower part. So I will take a quarter of an inch on this side also. I will stitch it all the way to the lower part. So you make sure this place is wide enough to accommodate the strip or strap. I have 45 inches length and strip here. This is 45 inches and this is 45 inches. And the wideness is 1.5 inches. So I will take it like so. Take a half inch on this side. Take half inch on this side. Turn it like so. Stitch it on this side. I will do the same thing for this side. This is just for the front side. This one I'm stitching here is only for the front part. I'm adding this strap to it. That is why I'm stitching this side down. But the back remains the same. I'm not adding anything to the back side. So guys, I finished stitching it down. And I've also stitched the, the straps. So this is the front. So I will turn it to the wrong side so you guys can see it very well. I will go ahead and then Use my safety pin to insert it inside. I'll pass it to the lower part. So I will pass it out through this upper part. I'll bring it out. Use a pin to secure it. We have two lines. I'll do the same thing for the other side. So the two straps are inside. Next is for us to cut out the facing. I will use the facing to turn the neckline. I will fold my fabric into two. I will place this like so and use it to cut out the facing. The length of my facing is 2 inches. Guys, I'm so sorry about the noise. They are doing party outside. So I'll use this to turn the neckline. This is the facing. This is the right side of the dress. I will stitch it around and turn it to the other side. I will do the same for this side. But before I use this to turn the neckline, I will make sure I stitch the straps down. And use this to turn the neckline. So I just cut this out the way I cut out the back side. Just turn the fabric into two and use the neckline to trace the facing. So I will use half inch or a quarter of an inch to stitch it, then turn it to the wrong side. So, guys, I'm done using the facing to hem the neckline. This is the back, and uh, this is the front. So after stitching it, I turn it to the other side and they give it a good press. 
They will go ahead and they join the front and the back together. And we use a um, half inch to join the shoulders and use one inch to join the side. We we'll stitch it right from the armhole here all the way to the damp part. I will do the same thing for this side. After I've done that, I will use one inch to hem the lower part. I will take half inch twice and hem it around. I will hem the sleeve as well. Use one inch to hem it. Fold half inch twice and hem it around. So guys, I'm done joining the front and the back together. This is the lower part. Please try and hem the lower part first. That's the front side. The first stitch in the case for the strap. So try and hem it first, then you stitch the strap. So I will put this. It's up to you if you want it longer than this. You only add fabric to it. Yeah. That's it. This is the back. So that's it for today. It's a very simple tutorial. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in my next one. Please subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. I love you guys. Bye.